Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, I had a voice radio. So today, we are going to be talking about some cards in the Pokemon trading card game that might soon end up banned. Now recently, Pokemon on their official website, Pokemon.com, gave a little post telling us that every three months, i.e. just before the release of every new set, they are going to give us an update of any rule changes and any banned cards. Fair enough. What really interested me though was on the website they had this list showing that no cards are banned in the standard format. We knew this. What was really exciting though was that they had this list saying some cards are being monitored but currently no new cards are banned in the expanded format. Because they've said that none are banned in standard and that some are being monitored in Expanded, that means they've got to be having a look at cards in Expanded, which might cause problems. So I thought, let's do a little video talking about the cards which are most likely to be on their radar. First, it's worth a quick look, though, at the two cards that are currently banned. First, we have Lysander's Trump card. Now, again, this wouldn't be legal in Standard anyway, coming out in Phantom Forces, but as it is, Lysander's Trump card allows you to shuffle your discard into your deck, except for Lysander's Trump card, giving you an opportunity to reuse every card in your discard pile. But then you don't shuffle Lysander's Trump card back, so it's not a problem. Except it is a problem because of Versus Seeker. You shuffle all your Versus Seeker back into your deck, which means you can always use Lysander's Trump card, and you can use your deck again and again and again. This is why cards need to be banned. Unintended consequences of cards interacting together. Lysander's Trump card on its own wouldn't have been a huge problem. Combined with Versus Seeker allowing you to cycle it forever was a problem. And we had this at UK Nationals in 2015. Everyone just played Seismitoad. They would play a real speed deck with four Shaman and Trainer's Mail and Acro Bike to run through their deck as fast as possible. And they would play cards like Crushing Hammer to get rid of energy. Hypnotoxic Laser to put you asleep and poison you. And Super Scoop Up to completely heal Seismitoad. And what they would do is every single turn, they would play as much of their deck as they could, and they would usually end every turn playing Lysander's Trump card. Because of Versus Seeker, it never ran out. Every single turn, if the deck weren't properly, they would discard all your energy with Crushing Hammer, get rid of any damage you've done with Super Scoop Up, put you asleep and poison you with Hypnotoxic Laser, and then use Quaking Punch to stop you playing items the following turn. At UK Nationals that year, the only viable deck was Seismitoad. It was both decks in the final. It had to be banned. The only other card we've seen banned is Shiftry from Next Destinies, again in Expanded only. And it's because of the ability. When you evolve into Shiftry, you flip a coin, if heads choose one of your opponent's Pokemon, they shuffle it and any cards attached to it back into their deck. Problem is that Shiftry evolves from Nuzleaf and we have a Grass Nuzleaf. And we have Forest of Giant Plants. And Forest of Giant Plants means that you can evolve from a Grass Pokemon whenever you like. Which means that you would just play a Grass Seedot, Grass Nuzleaf, Dark Shiftry, and flip a coin to get rid of one of your opponent's Pokemon. But then, of course, you could use cards like Super Scoop Up, and Scoop Up Cyclone, and AZ, to pick up your Shifteries, and just flip coins over and over again, and essentially, you go first, keep evolving Shifteries, until you flip enough heads that your opponent has no Pokemon on the field, and they lose. They chose to ban Shiftry, and if Lysander's Trump card was in the format, you could reuse all of your Super Scoop Ups every turn. Sooner or later, you'd get rid of all of your opponent's Pokemon. Little bit silly. They're the two that have been banned and the reason, so which ones do we think they're looking at at the moment? Here's my potential ban list. Forest of Giant Plants. Forest of Giant Plants is the reason Shiftry was so broken, but it's getting worse than that. We have Decidueye. Now, if you go first, you're not allowed to attack, but you can use abilities. Decidueye can do up to 80 damage on turn 1 
Just by evolving up using Forest of Giant Plants, it allows you to win on the first turn of the game without your opponent playing a card. Vile Plume is a grass Pokemon that you can evolve straight away using Forest of Giant Plants so your opponent never has access to item cards, because Vile Plume blocks both players from playing items, but if you do it on the first turn of the game going first, your opponent never has access to items. And we can see that Pokemon is not banning cards that are really good, they are banning cards that are unfair, cards that stop you playing the game. Lysander's trump card meant that you could just cycle disruption cards so the other player couldn't do anything. And Shiftry meant that you could just cycle the ability until your opponent had no Pokemon left and lost. Forest of Giant Plants does a similar thing. Now, the biggest problems at the moment are Decidueye and Vileplume, but soon we've got Trevenant coming out. So you can, with Forest of Giant Plants, play Vileplume and Trevenant, which has come out but isn't legal for tournament play until the 19th of May. And then your opponent can't play items, and you can just hit them for 30 damage for every item and supporter and etc. Any trainer card in their hand. You can set this up on turn 1 and attack for 1 energy. Without Forest of Giant Plants, Vile Plume isn't a huge problem. Decidueye isn't a huge problem. Trevenant isn't a huge problem. But they all are with Forest of Giant Plants. And of course, we've got the Trevenant that blocks trainers. And we now have a Grass Phantump. So you can, using Forest of Giant Plants, just evolve Phantump straight into Trevenant without attacking or using a supporter, so your opponent never has access to item cards. I think Forest of Giant Plants could be on the ban list. And while we're here, let's talk about Trevenant from X and Y, another card that has already rotated from the standard format. Now, Trevenant, when he's in the active, stops your opponent playing items while you still can, and that's very powerful. But the biggest problem with Trevenant is the ease with which you can get him out. Because, of course, we've got the aforementioned Grass Phantump and Forest of Giant Plants. Bit of an issue. But we've also got the supporter card Wally, which allows you to evolve straight up into Trevenant on the first turn of the game. And we've also got the Ascension Phantump, which means that for one energy, or if you play a Dimension Valley, zero energy, you can evolve straight up into Trevenant after your first attack. So, if you're playing Trevenant, the likelihood of not having a Trevenant after your first turn, especially if you go second, is very, very slim. And when Trevenant's out, your opponent can't really do very much. Again, we're talking about a card that stops someone playing the game. That seems to be what Pokemon wants to ban. And I know it's partly Forest of Giant Plants, and it's partly Wally, and it's partly Ascension Phantom, but all of them make Trevenant from X and Y potentially a little bit too good. It's annoying. Now, maybe it hasn't won enough tournaments lately, and of course, we've got the promo Giratina now, which means that if they evolve into Trevenant Break, which most of them do, then they lose the ability, but even so, it still strikes me as a card that could see the ban list. Getsis. Oh, lordy, Getsis is very, very annoying. Getsis is the supporter card whereby when you play it, your opponent has to reveal their hand and any item cards go back into their deck. This includes Trainer's Mail, Ultra Ball, Computer Search. People want a turn one Getsis, and they used to be able to search it out with Jirachi, they can now search it out with Tapu Lele as well. And the aim of Getsis is very simple. I'm going to go first, I'm going to get rid of all of your items. If you don't have a supporter like Sycamore, or something like a Shaman in your hand, you have nothing to do and I'm going to win the game. I have seen so many quick games decided, even for really unfavourable matchups because of this card. I see somebody playing Volcanion against a Sizzle, and they lose to the Sizzle, and I say, how do you lose to Sizzle playing Volcanion? And the answer I get, gets this. It's a way that somebody can potentially win on the first turn of the game without their opponent even getting a chance to have a turn. Sounds like the kind of card that might end up on the ban list. And the final one I'm going to give you for now, Hypnotoxic Laser. Hypnotoxic Laser is an item card, and 
I've been playing since before this card was released, and I really wish I knew how many games this had lost me. The problem is, it's a flippy card that's good enough to be played without the flip. So you get automatic poison and you play a Verbank City Gym, so you do 30 between turns. That in itself is insanely good. And then you get the coin flip. And if you flip ahead, your opponent's Pokemon is asleep. And then if they don't flip ahead, they can't do anything. Status conditions from an item card, where you don't need to use your ability and you don't need to use an attack, are way too powerful. We don't see many cards like this, and I don't think that's a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. How did you lose? My opponent played a hypnotic laser and I didn't wake up for four turns. I've lost count of how many times that's happened to me, and I've lost count of how many times people have told me it's happened to them. It's another card that allows you to lose the game, not because you were outplayed or outskilled, but because your opponent played a laser and you just didn't wake up. And as I've said, these are the cards that tend to be banned. My ban list, or at least the ones that I would be considering, Forest of Giant Plants, Trevenant, Getsis and Hypnotoxic Laser. And the one thing they all have in common, they stop your opponent playing the game. I don't think Seismitoad is going to be banned because you can play a card like Pokemon Ranger and also Seismitoad can't attack on the first turn of the game. You always get a turn of items. I don't think Vileplume is going to be banned because it's only Forest of Giant Plants that causes the problem here. Having said that, you could have said that about Shiftry, and they did bad Shiftry, not Forest of Giant Plants. But for my money, ladies and gentlemen, they are the cards that I think Pokemon are going to potentially ban. We know they're thinking about banning cards. We know they're investigating. I thought it was time to look at what they were investigating. Now, I do have a comment section. And I would suggest you go down there and you give me a list of the cards that you think Pokemon might be thinking of banning. If you like this video and there are enough cards to warrant it, maybe I'll do a sequel to this video in the very near future. Let me know if you want to see it. Let me know the cards that you think might end up being banned. Only in Expanded though, because we know they're not really looking at Standard, they've told us as much. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at the Wossy. like and subscribe in the usual manners, and look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.